Hi Aries, I hope that you're doing well. I send you much love and light. Welcome to your May love reading. So today we're going to take a look and see what is the vibe like in your love life? What kind of energy is coming towards you? What is your love life going to look like in May? And what are the experiences you could have? We're going to start out the reading by looking at the present energy around you now because I feel like this can be exciting and I feel like there can be things that are revealed to you from spirit that maybe you don't know is going on or it can even give you clarity about the present. So we'll look at the present first then we'll look at the near future and see what's going on and what comes through. Okay, if you are new to my channel, my name is Lynn. This is Passion and Heart Tarot. I appreciate you clicking on the video and just welcome back everybody. Let's get right into it, Aries. Before I begin, I just want to take a moment to invite the white light of the Holy Spirit. Okay, Aries, presently what is going on in your love life what is the energy like around you now wow some of you here i can see where you feel like I think you're even questioning why you haven't found someone or even questioning things like why is it so hard to find the person that's right for me? Some of you definitely have people pursuing you, but it feels like none of them have caught your attention enough. It just feels like, okay, yeah, there. it's not like you don't have people that are interested in you because I, I they can't stay away from you. So attracting someone to you looks like it's very easy. Based on, I mean, you're, you guys are coming across as very beautiful. Like from the eyes of others, you are stunning. You are attractive. You are shining. And people are going to be drawn to you like a moth to a flame. And it's not only just your good looks, it's your success as well. So I know that you definitely have people, this is more than one person, but it's just, you. I, I, I know you, you can be the center of attention if you wanted to. I know that you have people that are drawn to you because they look at you and feel like you'd be an amazing partner because of everything that you bring to the connection, your good looks, your success, everything. But for whatever reason around you guys now, it feels like you have this outlook of, yeah, they're okay, but like this is not my perfect person. I haven't found the one yet. And even the Ace of Pentacles is coming through in reverse. The Fool card is even coming through in reverse. It's very interesting about like, okay, the offers, but then like my, I'm not taking it. It's like something is being offered to you, but then it looks like you don't reach your hand back out and take what's being offered to you. So a couple things here. I think that what spirit wants you to know in case you don't is the way that you come across i mean through the eyes of others you you are so striking you're unforgettable right now aries so it's like this beautiful balance of your inner beauty your outer beauty and just your overall success and then even the way that through the eyes of others you're so influential and you're so inspiring so that's how you're coming across and if someone hasn't approached you recently, just know that they want to. And it could very well be the way that they feel intimidated by you, the way that they could feel, well, I, I don't have a shot with someone like you. If I try to take a chance, I feel like you're just going to turn me down. So for those of you that feel like if you resonate with this energy and you're saying to yourself, yeah, I am beautiful and I do have a lot to offer and I am successful. Why haven't I found anyone? It could really just be because, you know how they say beauty's a curse? 
you could just be really intimidating to those around you. But don't think that you're not being looked at. Don't think that you're not being talked about because you are. It feels like you have a reputation of someone that's just like the it person, the popular person. Because you have a lot of influence around you. So for whatever reason, Spirit wants you to know that. And I feel like that's answering a question for someone who is asking, you know, why haven't I found someone like I have everything to offer? Why doesn't someone approach me? It's because they're intimidated and they feel like um, they're going to hear no. They feel like they're not enough. So if you're thinking it's your fault or like there's something that you should change, no, it's not about that. It's about someone who needs to be uh, confident enough and in the same energy, knowing that they can offer you something. And now for others of you, I do feel like the current vibe around you now, you do have people that are making offers to you, but you just feel like it's just not what you're looking for exactly in a partner. It feels like you guys have a list of pre prerequisites almost for what your ideal partner is supposed to be. And it feels like you're not wavering at all on what you're looking for. So you could be in a place right now, uh, Aries, where you're very picky when it comes to who you choose to date, who you choose to talk to, who you choose to give your time to and engage with. And that stems from you knowing who you are and what you want and what you bring to the table. That's what I can see going on. For those of you that are in a connection right now with someone, I think you need to know that your person is wanting wanting more from you. Because with the lovers in reverse, for those of you, this is this is significant, especially if you're with a partner right now, because the lovers are coming in reverse. So this shows me the way that. I mean, it remains the same. They look at you as someone who's the most beautiful person that they've ever seen. They feel like you're so successful. They don't have their eyes on anyone else but you. Like, and, and why would they, Aries? I mean, honestly, why would everything, you bring everything to the table. So whoever you're with now knows that it is not is not going to be looking at anyone else, thinking of anyone else, attracted to anyone else. It's about you and only you. But, you know, on this person's behalf, Spirit wants you to know that they want more of your attention. They definitely want more of your time. And it feels like, from your person's perspective, we're not uh, getting, we're not on the same page the way we normally are. Because, this person feels like the two of you belong together. They do feel like you're a perfect fit for each other. But there's something about the energy with the lovers in reverse. It's like um, we're, we're blocked or, or they feel like you're not fully letting them in. I wonder if any of you had this person make a very significant offer to you recently. I wonder if they asked you for something very serious, like to take things to the next level in the relationship, whatever that looks like to you. And it looks, it could even be engaged, moving in together, because there's something about like an offer that your current person made and it looks like you were very hesitant and maybe even told them no, like not ready. It looks, it, it's almost like I'm not ready to take that, what you're offering to me. And I'll leave that up to you, what that offer, that recent offer was, because that's very personal. But the, some of the energies that I can pick up on, did someone, did someone want a baby? And they're talking about, okay, we, I want to start having children or it's even about, I think we should move in together. I think we should like um, tangibly put, like tangibly connect with something. It could be like an investment, signing a lease or something, or even like um, someone asked you to be in a relationship with them or even to take things to the next phase in the relationship, fiance, something like that. That's what I can see. But at the same time, do you know how serious this offer was because I know because it feels like the offer was made but I didn't take it and that is what is coming between the two of you now so 
I say this honestly, Aries, did you realize like when this person asked you for this, did you realize how, how serious it was to them? Because they weren't just saying it in passing. That recent like big discussion that the two of you have had, or do you know it was a big discussion? That's the thing about it. Like a recent discussion about taking things to the next level, that was super, super serious uh, to your person. And now it's like this vibe of, well, I was turned down. You didn't take a chance on me. And that feels like it's coming between us now. So for those of you in a relationship with someone, I mean, it, you, you, you can do no wrong, really, because you still make this person incredibly happy. They're going to support you no matter what. They do feel like you are the love of their life. And, and even though you could have turned them down, things are still very successful between the two of you. But what would make it, what would make it perfect is if you would have said yes. Or if you or if you'll say yes, or if you'll change your mind, because you have someone that wants you to change your mind when it comes to their offer. Currently, that is what's going on. And I wonder, does that even have to do with those of you that are single? Because even if you're single watching this, did you have someone who recently asked you for something serious? Like uh, maybe even just to start dating or even to be in a relationship if you guys were dating? I mean, you you may resonate with that energy, Aries. But for, for those of you that are in a relationship right now, your person feels like things could be perfect. It, it's almost like things could be perfect between us, Aries, if, if you didn't say no to me or if you would let yourself really trust me to take a chance fully. Because they feel like you're not all in with something right now. But the way that they feel is I'm in 100% and I'm, I'm focused on us. I'm not looking anywhere else. This is about us and our growth and moving forward. They're sure about you. So right now, this person uh, feels like, you know, the, your hesitancy to trust them fully is what's coming between the two of you. But I have to stress this point. It's not coming between the two of you so much that they're deterred. Like this person feels like you are absolutely incredible. It's like, it's damn near perfect. That's what the energy is like with you, Aries. You're, I think they feel like you're perfect and the connection is almost perfect with you. What would make it perfect is fully, fully gaining all of your trust. Because you have someone that wants you to put all of your trust in them. So I do wonder personally, what is this that's been going on with the two of you recently? Because no matter how they look at it, like you're still, they're a perfect person. You're still everything to them. And even the Ten of Swords is coming through. See, Ten of Swords is, is about turning the page and starting a new chapter. And I, I, I feel like, the Ten of Swords upright is telling someone that it is time to move forward. I wonder if anyone's been looking for that sign from Spirit. Like, should I move forward? Should I say yes? So lots of different messages coming through about the current energy in your love life, Aries. You know, depending on the status, you know, are you with someone? Are you single? Like, what's going on with you? I feel like a lot of messages have come through. Okay, now let's take a look at the near future. So what is coming in for you guys? Let's see what the energy is like. So whoever it is that's running is not going to run anymore, which is funny to me because I can see like, it's just like, okay, the offer was made, but it wasn't taken. 
So I wonder like how you resonate with that energy because I wonder, you know, I have to acknowledge, do any of you Aries feel like it's reversed and it's an offer you made to someone and they didn't take it and like they're kind of running, running from it? Or, you know, you may very well know that that was you and there's something that maybe you turned down recently. The energy is really about to shift majorly. I mean, look at this coming through. The star shows me into your beauty again, Aries, the sun and the star. I just have to give you your props from spirit because, you know, not to be shallow in the reading, but it really has to do with the way that through the eyes of others, you guys are really shining very bright. It's not all about your outer beauty. It's it's about what's coming from within and shining outward. But for any of you here that maybe have been working more on your health and even like more on your like physical fitness or even just um, making improvements or striving towards your own sense of perfection, I, I feel like Spirit wants you to know that it's definitely showing you are shining so bright and the way that you come across is just beautiful. So someone here just needs to know uh, that you are beautiful, like you're, you're perfect right now, just the way you are. So maybe you've even, you know, when I see the inner beauty, have you been striving towards improving your emotional well-being? Uh, because you're just shining. I mean, point blank, that's, that's what it's like. So you're beautiful now. And it feels like in May, you just get more and more beautiful from the inside out. Aries and Taurus, Sagittarius and Aquarius' energy is all here. So that could be your own moon or rising sign. Maybe you're involved with another Aries. There could be cross watchers watching your reading. Or maybe it's who's coming towards you. See, the Eight of Cups in reverse is the overall energy because that person was gone and now they're coming back. So I look at that as... Maybe the way that when you said no or whoever it is that said no or put something off, didn't take the offer, it looks like um, they're coming, they're, they're changing their mind and their energy shifted and now they're coming back to maybe even after a period of needing to take some space, think things through to reflect. So I just know this, whoever turned something down or said they needed more time or maybe even drifted further apart from the other one, became distant, I should say, that person is going to do a complete like 180 and and because it just feels like there's things that they're going to realize and see that maybe they needed to in order to make their mind up and make a decision. I just know that the vibe is like this. For whoever it is that walked away or said no or distanced themselves or like wouldn't settle down or give someone the commitment or like a straight answer, it's a complete 180 in the energy. It truly is. You know what's really ironic about this that I will say? Because the Hierophant is now in reverse and the Emperor is now in reverse. There's a lot of stories to tell you. I want to keep them all straight because there's a lot coming through. So first part is for anyone here watching this that feels like, yeah, I offered myself to them or I made this big offer to them. Um, and they wouldn't take my offer, well, the tables have turned. That's what the vibe is like because I think that when this person approaches you again after being distant or walking away or saying no, that is going to initially make you feel like everything that you wished for is happening, like everything that I wish for is coming true. But then I can also see when those of you have this person uh, take you up, say that they want to take you up on your offer or try to come back into your, try to come back emotionally after being distant, it feels like you guys see that the tables have turned and you could even end up Keeping this person at arm's length. I mean, just look at these energies coming through. You could end up keeping this person at arm's length 
And and now that you see the tables have turned, you kind of put them to the test and you become distant. It's almost like, and I don't think it's maliciously, but giving this person a taste of their own medicine. So that's very interesting to me that I see someone is going to get exactly what they wanted, what they wish to have. After someone initially, like I said, said no, turned it down, became distant, they're going to have a change of heart and a change of mind. And what that change of heart and change of mind tells them is, I want to embrace this. I do. So it's about now I want to fully invest and give myself to the other one fully. And, you know, whoever's been waiting for this person to give their full devotion, of course, that feels amazing. But then it also feels like now that there's this power shift, the person who was walked away from before is now they know that they're in the driver's seat. And since they know they're in the driver's seat, it's almost like now they're playing hard to get. So I definitely see that dynamic happening. So this could even, um, I wonder how you relate to the reading Aries. Like, do you feel like you were the one that offered yourself or were you the one that, you know, someone made an offer to you and you said no? Because it's general. So I, I'm reading it all directions for you guys and I'm asking because it's general. I just know that for whoever it is that needed time to think or space or distance or maybe even who flat out said no, or who just became distant if they're still with this person but just emotionally distant i know that that what's happening in may is this person gives them their space and during that time they really think and reflect about my decisions and what i'm doing and what's right for me and then it's like i come to the conclusion that this is where i should be this is what i should fully invest in and embrace and go in all the way so then whoever said no before says yes now so it's like a heads up to you from spirit. If you were the one that said no before and you're saying yes now, this person may give you a little bit of a hard time. And I think it's only because they want you to, to feel what their experiences was like. You know, don't think I'm agreeing with that. But I think, you know, you need to be aware of that in case you are the one that decides you have a change of heart and you want to come back to this person or reconnect with this person or just fully open up to them. I wouldn't be surprised if they kind of give you a hard time. And by giving you a hard time, it feels like they're going to uh, maybe even say certain things to you. Like it's kind of like throwing the past at you with that six of cups in reverse. And do you see where now the offer is trying to be made to that person? And do you see how it's like the it's like how uh, the tables have turned? And it's like, oh now you want to give me a heart? No. It's kinda it's kinda like that. I, I need to think now. So it's a heads up to you if you resonate with that energy Aries that this person may, you know, it it feels like the trust is broken. But they're still going to say yes. It just You just need to know that. It feels like they're going to give you a bit of a hard time. That's what I can see. Because remember, through it all, the way that this person currently looks at you is like you can do no wrong. But it, that's current. But then when I look at the near future, if things kind of linger in limbo, that's where I feel their vibe could start to change. And that's where they could start to uh, become a bit resentful. And I know that's kind of a strong word, but it's like their, their feelings are changing about being turned down. So I can see the longer someone is left in limbo, the more things could kind of break down and will need to be fixed even more. So that's important for you to know. And then, you know, for others of you, you may look at this as your own power shift, where it's spirit letting you know if you had someone say no to you or distance themselves from you, or maybe even if you felt like this person has ghosted you, they're definitely returning and coming back into the picture. But you know what? It's almost like in a, in slight ways, I know you're still very attached to this person, and I know that 
you still look at this as like everything you could want in a relationship. But I think that you also, um, you know, with the power shift, you need to see that it's real and that it's sincere. So I can see once the tables turn, you being in this energy of, okay, well, now you want to come back. Uh, I'm, I, I'm not sure. You know, I, I have other things going on too. So I don't think you're just going to be so accommodating to this person. That's what it's like. That's what the vibe is like. Now, for others of you, how long ago did this person walk away? Because I can also pick up on more messages for another group of you where this was someone that looks like the two of you broke up with each other. I mean, because it's like this person was gone and now they're coming back. So for others of you, this is spirit letting you know that in May, you're going to see the way the tables have turned with someone. And it just feels like where I was turned down before for something that I really wanted and, and I was turned down or this person walked away or they told me no or we ended up breaking up or going our separate ways or they left for whatever reason that person on your mind right now that's who's coming back into the picture and they're coming back because they want a serious commitment now so i wonder what was the vibe like with them before because this sagittarius energy in reverse is very tricky i wonder if you felt like this person like was shady with you or just wouldn't give you straight answers or just like ghosted you or was very inconsistent with you so now that person you may not feel all those things some of you do some of you may not but it's just like the one that was gone or if just it definitely feels like there was a sense of rejection with them leaving or walking out or uh, not in the picture anymore so that person is coming back in may and th what they're looking for now is a relationship and you know what? Maybe they needed to take space to see what they really had with you, Aries. Because I mean, no matter how you, no matter what the circumstances, you are still looked at as someone that is, I mean, absolutely marriage material, beautiful, everything that someone could want in a person. So maybe this person that I could see that's coming back into the picture has realized all of these things since being in separation from you. I just know that the vibe in the reading for May is the way that the tables have turned. And whoever it was that said no before now says yes and wants, wants back what they gave away or wants back what they turned down. Or they want back what they were too hesitant to embrace prior. Now they want it back. I just know that whoever wants it back is not going to be able to get it back so easily. Because now it's like being in this position of, you know, I, okay, so it's like this outlook of, accepting things from them before because of wanting the connection so badly or wanting something so badly accepting things before uh that normally i wouldn't it, it's someone seeing in that time that passes you know that i made sacrifices and i gave up things that were you know really important to me or i just conformed and I adapted in ways that I normally wouldn't just because I wanted this person so badly. So in that time, there's realizations I feel on both ends. And whoever it is that was walked away from or, to, or said no to or turned down, as May progresses, I think that that person's going to see... Um, what's important to them and what they're not going to uh, just accept. And it's like this whole new level of respect for themselves. And then also like, okay, if you're going to say yes now, there's a certain way that I need to be treated and I'm not going to settle for anything less. 
So it's it's a very interesting reading because I can see the ways that someone realizes a lot of things since walking away from the other one or turning the other one down or giving up or whatever that energy is. I'm, I'm, I'm naming a bunch of different things because it will resonate depending on the situation because I can just pick up on all of it so I'll tell you everything. But basically what it boils down to is whoever it is that gave it up, they want it back. But like I said, they're not going to be able to get it back without real proof, real proof. So whoever it is that, you know, resonates with this and you know you're the one that turned something down before, in May, I can see you having, I can see you reflecting and having a change of heart. I can see that and uh, wanting to approach where you said no to something before. And and I'm speaking to those of you that have resonated with the reading thus far. Because that's what it's all about. So the tables really turn for you in May Aries. So just, I, I can just see, you know, this is, that's why I say it's resonated thus far. Because I know that when there's a possibility of coming back to this person or getting them back, it's like, oh my God, this is everything that I wanted. So it's not something that you wouldn't want. It's something that you would absolutely want. And I, I do feel like you will get it back. Ultimately, it'll end up in that place of, oh my God, where, this is everything that I wanted. Because this is what's coming in for you. But there's challenges to get to this point. That's why I'm telling you like the full story. So don't think that even though the tables turn and someone now gives this person a taste of their own medicine or they make it challenging and like, oh, well, that offer, that was on the table then. This is now. So since this is now, I need you to do X, Y, Z. Ultimately, what I can see happening is figuring things out with each other. Knowing that the other one is here for sure feels amazing, feels like wishes are coming true. But then with the Hierophant and the Emperor in reverse, this is like, okay, we got to figure out what we're doing. So in May, I see this person's return. I see the way the tables have turned for, you know, those of you that maybe are already in a relationship. Um, and this is about it feeling amazing, but now we need to figure out what we're doing. Now to circle back around to those of you that are with someone now. Remember at the beginning of the reading where I saw the lovers in reverse, which is like something separating you and your person, even though you're together now, there's something still coming between the two of you. Whoever it is that was the distant one, they're going to kind of come to their realizations and senses. And I don't mean that in an insulting way, but whoever it was that's the distant one is going to try to make up for lost time make up for lost experiences and I know to their partner it feels epic it feels amazing it feels like okay now we're gonna have consistency now I have more security but I'm telling you for those of you in a relationship the longer someone needs time to figure something out or the longer they need space I'm not saying that this is right, but in the meantime, I can see the way that your person starts to feel like this is not what I signed up for. This is not respectful to me. What about me? Because it just feels, it, it, I don't think it's self-centered, but to whoever is on the receiving end of their person being distant or needing time to figure it out, not saying that it's fair, but I'll be honest with you their energy kind of starts to break down when there's unanswered questions and things are in limbo. So someone has to do what they have to do though in order to be well and get to the point where they feel like, okay, I can give myself fully. I can invest. So I totally, I get that. I want to acknowledge that. But then, you know, to be honest, in the meantime, as someone figures out what's going on with them, their person sitting in limbo like that does start to feel disrespected and like it's not what they signed up for as far as the stability they were looking for in a connection. 
So I give this advice cautiously not to be insensitive as to why someone needs time and space. But the, the truth about it is the more there's unanswered questions and the more there's distance between the two partners, uh, the more damage the more damage happens and the more damage will need to be fixed. So it's kind of touchy because I get I get it from all angles. And, you know, I'm telling you about all angles, maybe to help someone understand what's actually going on with this person and why they need their space. No matter what, I just know that things end in a consistent and super, super happy, grateful place where we're, we're figuring things out now. We're getting things back on track and I'm utterly grateful. I'm utterly happy. Do you know what I mean? So don't think that it's not going to end well, Aries, because it is. But I can just see like a full story happening for you guys in, in May where to get to this point is, you know, there's challenges in order to get to that point. But I know you will get to that point. And the star is all about feeling very fulfilled, feeling like my life is beautiful and I'm very happy. So lots of messages for you guys, the tables turning, someone coming back into your life or whoever was distant is now going to try and make things up to their person and bridge the gap and make up for lost time. And even though whoever it is that comes back, they're put to the test. It feels like they're going to pass those tests and you guys end up in a very happy place where you're kind of writing your own love story and you're figuring things out as you go. And you'll see what's right for the connection because it's unique for all of you here. All right, Aries. That's what I can see is going on in May. I hope that you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please leave a like on the video because it really helps my channel out a lot. You guys, I know it's a small thing to do, but it really does help. So please leave a like on the video. And if you haven't already subscribed, I do hope that you'll subscribe. Please subscribe. Thank you again, Aries. I love you so much. I send you much love and light. And I know that some of these messages that have come through... They're not always the easiest thing to hear. I know some of them, you know, when you have to look from a different perspective or you see see something from spirit from another person's perspective, it's not always the easiest thing to hear or recognize, but it's never meant to be judgmental because these messages only come from a place of love and light, just intended to help. So just take from it what you want. All right, that's what I have for you. I love you so much and I'll see you in the next reading.